Hello my friends, hope you are doing great. My name is Tino and today we have a new tutorial. It's the new army with patch 1.5 and later. So let's start. If you press F5, you are going to see the army panel, army and navy. You have two tabs, with the right one you see the navy, of course, and with the left one you see the army. You're going to be seeing all your armies, right now we have just one, and you're going to see all your navies here and a summary. You can create new armies by clicking this button down below, and you choose the new area that you want the new army, let's say that you want it there, and you press again F5, and you're going to see the new army there. You can, you can have about four, at maximum four generals per army, and the level of the general, you can see the level on the, the rank of the, you can upgrade the general, this is at max level, and that will increase how many armies the, the general can command. You add all the generals and you have this number, 262. So all, all these four generals can command a lot of battalions, we have just only 29, but if you upgrade, let's say, this general, we are going to promote him, we are also giving power to the intellectuals and we are upgrading our command capacity now to 294 but we are spending more bureaucracy each general costs bureaucracy the higher the rank the more bureaucracy they cost and they also give power to the faction that they belong also you have some special trains traits down below that allows you to give different orders if they have some special traits they can do special defenses or special attacks this is an arsenal so you have the basic options defend or attack you can give independent orders to all the generals and that is completely necessary you're going to see that why in the future also this is the attrition level when they are unmobilized or demobilize, you don't spend attrition, but after you mobilize them, even at the headquarters, they are going to be spending attrition, suffering attrition. If they are in a difficult supply situation or dangerous area like the Amazonas, you are going to suffer higher attrition. Also, you have another, let's go one by one. This is the cost. If you mouse over, you are going to see the cost. What does the cost include? Small arms and so on, uh, guns of all kinds, and food. This will vary depending on the formations you have and the situation. You are going to see that later. The next one is the morale. The morale goes up and down according to the several factors, the results of the battles, and some other options that you are going to see right now in a moment. And finally, from the organization, it should be 100%. If you don't have a 100%, means that you have just recently assigned a new general, that you're moving your generals from, from one army to another army, or maybe you have less capacity than the total army. So make sure this value is at 100%. Also, another super important value that is kind of very small is this one is the total number of manpower actually in the army. We have 8.9 and we should have 29k. So this army is has suffered a lot because we have just um, fight a war against Chile, against Paraguay, against Brazil and against Uruguay. So before going to a new war, wait until your army has gained strength fast enough. Enough strength. If you press F3, you can go to deployment development and you see here now the recruiting method the lower the better of course and if you mouse over you're going to see the effects but you have no any more battalions here we are going to press f5 again and if you want to see the battalions let's respond a question that i myself had how to we are going to disband this army how to split an army. Let's say that you are fighting Brazil and you have a, an Indian revolt and you need an extra army. So the fastest solution, you don't have time to train a new army, is to right click a general and you go down and you click split formation. Click OK and now you have two armies. Also, if you want to remove an army, you press this button here and you press OK 
and the army is removed but the battalion stays and they go with the general to the top army again so we have seen how to split how to join also you can change with this button the location where the army is stationed we have we have several headquarters and let's say that you want to move it to Los Andes because in the future you may expect a, a sea landing there you can move the army to be stationed there and if they are mobilized or not in the war times they will defend the area and wait for a sea landing also you have this button to move to a front line this is for a sea landing we're going to see this button in a moment but let's click this button. This button is going to click the detail of the army. If you want to remove specific battalions, let's say that you expect a revolt in Argentina from this area, well it's a good idea to disband the battalions in that area and build more battalions in Buenos Aires. How you can do that? The fastest way to remove battalions is just to click the minus button, but that's kind of bad because you lose you remove a random regiment so to remove a specific regiment you must go down here and you have the detail of all the battalions if you mouse over any battalion it will say you where it is located this battalion is located uh, let me see in argentina that is the capital then it will remove rename to tucman let's say that you want to remove this battalion from Tucman and you click that button and the battalion for, from Tucman is gone. Also another important thing that you can do here is change the formation and you should use always the latest formation, this one. So when you discover a new technology make sure to change your actual type of unit to the latest one. But you're going to be seeing that, for example, if you would develop uh, skirmish infantry, you're going to be seeing kind of less armies here. Why is that? Because you are going to be seeing down here line infantry and lower you will see skirmish infantry. So remember to use this button here, this one, very important to upgrade your army. Do this on peacetime because they are going to be unusable for a while. So, when you develop a new formation, a new technology, click the button down there, update here, and then update down with the button that I just showed you where it was. Well, you can find it in there. <laughs> ah, here it is. This button, upgrade. And that's all you need. And you can add battalions from artillery when you click this. You're going to pick the province. You can pick a province anywhere in the world that is new but remember that you must have more infantry than artillery and cavalry not sure if you can have eight six and six but i prefer to have let's say eight and two and two that works okay and but i'm not sure yet what is the exact ratio of the units but of course it's better a mixed army that a single army of a single type but the base is line infantry you can't have artillery without line infantry you can not have a cavalry without line infantry and remember that line infantry should be more than these ones okay we have seen this band merge upgrade remove and now let's go back to the to the main army you can set the stance individually to the channels and we are going to start a war also make sure before starting the war we are going to build some more units and wait for this to fill to the top to speed up this process you can press f2 and you change the salary of the army to the max level so they recruit faster also f3 and you check in the latest uh, option here that you have for the army so to recruit f5 and we choose the army and we are going to add let's say three more artillery pieces we are going to sort by population where we have more population santiago some there and let's unpause ah, i forgot something very important if you click the detail of the army this is kind of the super key you click there 
and you have several options that you must enable this is according to your technology enable and this one is super important i'm going to give tobacco and liquor this will boost the morale and the recovery speed of my army this is super important because you may be winning a little and then you start losing and as you gain technology you have more options here for example like the medical option the first aid option now i have waited a long time and the army is now almost recovered you mouse over here and you see the about we have 35 about 36 33 so we are going to attack bolivia and we right click bolivia and we press our claim for conquer state and we start a diplomatic play very soon i guess yes and we click the play and here we have more let's say more territories but we are not or war reparations or another state but you should pick states close to the border so you are going are easier to claim on the right side you have the the countries that may align with one side or the other but we are going to keep it that way well so we clip click f5 and we verify in the army that we are giving all the best stuff we are giving giving chocolate tobacco everything we can liquor and let's see how is the we are going to wait a bit and we are going to pause and as you can see the army now is moving to the front line and we are going to be seeing it seems they have arrived and now the advantage is to us because they have not not mobilized yet but when the enemy army arrives the battle will be more even let's take a look 21 on our side but they will keep sending reinforcements 22 on our side one forces are even so we are going to wait and we are not going to attack so as you can see the war is about to start but we have despite we are defending we have a minus seven and if we take the loot if you click at this icon or icon you will see that the enemy has a power of 22 on attack 25 on defense so despite our defense is higher than their attack we have only 37 battalions and they have 42 it shouldn't be that uneven but it seems that they have better shell we are going to see the army now we have 100 percent morale 100 percent organization we are suffering attrition and the army needs more recruits they have just 32.9 out of 37 and that's the problem we don't have 37 battalions we have just 32 and that's the difference we are far less soldiers so it's a miscalculation on my side i should have wait a little bit more until this army is full and we are going to lose the battle for that but let's see how it goes Minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, 3, 6, minus 7. If it gets positive, we have chances. 0, we are even positive, 2, 3. Maybe if they start losing more people than we are, we have some chances. But they have advanced a little bit already things are getting a little bit better so now they are having losses and we are recruiting more units but the let's see the army the army morale is super okay because thanks to the tobacco and all that stuff and that's good attrition two percent but we have lost a lot of men almost a half half capacity so it's completely undecided. We're going to see what happens. Six, seven, they are losing also a lot of troops. And that's very good. We're going to waste them completely. Oof. 
super close. Oh, they are. We are going to keep on the fence for a long time. Nine, seven, six, five. I'm going to come back in a while. An important number to look at is this and the war score. We are plus 52 because we lose less men and they are plus 33. But once they reach zero, I will keep they will keep at zero because I have not conquered any territory. To win the war, you must occupy the the war goals. If not, you are going to be staying at zero, max at best, and you can hope for a peace deal. But that's not the case. So now we have plus 30 and they are zero, but they are not going down from there. So it's time to counterattack. We have spent all we can of the enemy and you should pick your best signal with offensive trade. You must check one by one if you find, but unfortunately I do not have any good channels. So I put one channel on defense, sorry, three on defense and one on attack. This one has the option of reckless attack because he's reckless but not sure if it is a good idea and let's see what happens we have plus 17 and one counter attacking i want to keep all the others in defense because the enemy is attacking and it's much better to defend on defense than on attack and let's see if we can get back some terrain with our, our attacking general and it seems we are going to do so We need to retake this land back and take a little bit of the objective. To focus the objective, you should please click this button and you mark here the province that you want to conquer. Make sure to mark here your objective that I don't remember which one it was, but it was close to the border. You can mark it probably there. But it did not work out, so I'm splitting my army. And since new opens front, I put two on offense and one on defense. And I'm going to press. We have three fronts. We are holding one and we are going to push on the other two. So I put one on defense, sorry, three on defense and one on attack. This one has the option of reckless attack because he's reckless, but not sure if it is a good idea. And let's see what happens. We have plus 17 and one counter attacking. I want to keep all the others in defense because the enemy is attacking and it's much better to defend on defense and on attack. And let's see if we can get back some terrain with our, our attacking shell. And it seems we are going to do so. We need to retake this land back and take a little bit of the objective. 
to focus the objective, you should please click this button and you mark here the province that you want to conquer. Make sure to mark here your objective. And I don't remember which one was, but it was close to the border. You can mark it fine in there. And it and then badly, despite I took the terrain, I almost won the war. I almost win the war. I was 79, very close, but I ran out of men <laughs> and the enemy started pushing back. And I'm almost close to the capital, so they are going to win the war. But you get the idea, do your calculations okay before launching a war. <laughs> Make sure you have enough troops. And that's all. I think if you have any another tip, please leave it down below. If you enjoy, please leave a like. And see you on the next one. Bye-bye.